Hey guys, welcome back to Love and Demai show where we go through the top trending stories that everyone across the country is talking about. Our top story. Augustus Media is a modern media company and we've got offices in five different countries, UAE, KSA, Egypt, Doha and Qatar and recently in Pakistan as well. I'm uh, Joseph Obeid, I'm the CFO of Augustus Media. My name is Casey Fitzgerald. I cover news in Dubai and then also across uh, any of our 16 cities. So my name is Reniam. I work as a senior account executive for Augustus Media. So we've got three major brands, Lovin. Smashing. The Odium. As you guys may know, Lovin is our biggest channel. Lovin is Love in Dubai, love in Saudi, and it's the most popular thing at the moment in, the, in this region. And Minister of Defence for the new on top of the building, but I think Post suggested that it cost $500 million. I work for Love in Dubai, we're a local news platform. We started nine years ago, and since then we've grown into the largest digital social media platform lifestyle publication in the country. Um, and our goal is to tell positive news stories and build local news platforms in all of these cities. It's really amazing, honestly. I think one of the reasons why our staff stays so long is just because we have a really amazing work culture, we love our colleagues, we all get along really well, and uh, yeah, it's just positive vibes. Well, starting a company isn't easy, and you guys know it very well. It started as five people working from the office, and we're not experts in HR, we're not experts in legal. So we've always used SaaS companies, right? But initially it was individuals, Monday.com, uh, Pipedrive, uh, QuickBooks at one point. Uh, and then we realized that we want to move into a one all software. And that's why Zoho came in. We are approaching the top for KSA. One started us up as a sub separate uh, account, and that would be the link to so RKSA books. So what I was saying about the uh, Zoho books, there's some integration that we need to fix with the CRM, basically. I mean, if it comes to a particular use case, if you have some thoughts in mind, we can definitely, as long as you have the APIs, we can do a custom integration. Well, implementation was great, honestly. Uh, the team was excellent in uh, making sure that everything that we wanted, because uh, we customized the, the CRM, basically. We would need multiple Zoho books to go in one CRM. So the implementation team was doing an excellent job in making sure that the currencies are working. We had multiple currencies. Uh, we had multiple books, multiple offices. So making sure that one CRM holds all these books was an excellent implementation from the Zoho team. We didn't want to move to a traditional ERP because they're very old school. And we noticed that Zoho One was more modernized. It had all the features that we had in other softwares that were individual and it just integrated everything together. Initially, we started with Zoho Books, and the fact that we liked Zoho Books, we moved to Zoho One, and we're currently using all the products for Zoho One. We use CRM for sales. We use people for the HR and the recruitment. We use projects for project management. So projects, we use it for publishing schedule, which basically means we tell new stories, but we also need to meet the algorithms of the different social platforms, and therefore we use, we've created our own publishing schedule on Zoho to do that. Using Zoho projects is uh, really easy, to be honest with you. Uh, we struggled at first because we were concerned, right? Like moving from one platform to another is always something that you're going to be worried about if you're used to it. But when we made the transition, honestly, we really felt uh, it was a lifesaver, much easier than we expected, and we love it. If I had to describe Zoho in one word, I would say convenient. Zoho is an efficient way to do my work. Well, as we grow, we also expect Zoho to grow as well. So we envision Zoho to be one of our major partners because we expect it to be our backbone at the end of the day.